Hello everybody, it's Final Rich here. Um, even though I have enough new albums for a new Vinyl Finds video, I'm going to do another 21 albums. Um, I'm going to show some punk and hardcore. This video is kind of inspired by a working class wax. Um, he said that he doesn't see enough people showing uh, punk and hardcore, and I have to agree. And uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show 21 albums here, and I'm gonna start it off with uh, one that he showed, New York City Hardcore, Revelation Records presents. Um, this is a great album. It, he said it's in his top five of all time of comps. Um, I wouldn't put it that high, but uh, it is. Definitely in my top 20. It's a uh, got Warzone, Bold, Gorilla Biscuits, Youth of Today, Sick of It All. Those late 80s hardcore bands from New York City. Um, I really never saw any of these bands in concert. I quit going to hardcore gigs. At least the big ones here in L.A. Um, probably by 86, maybe 87 was my last one. Next album. It's China White, Danger Zone. This is an EP. And the reason I'm showing this is I did a vinyl collection video on the, the band uh, Circle One. And when I met uh, John Messias, I was wearing a China White shirt shirt and it had this right here is all it had on there this logo and he approached me and goes hey you're into China White I used to like to wear shirts that you know just had logos like this and no writing but most people didn't know what the hell it was but anyways this is the album it's actually an EP three songs on each side pretty good album came out in 81 on yeah came out in 81 on Frontier Records. Next one. It came from Slimy Valley. This has some good bands on it. Um, I think, what is it? Uh, Crankshaft down here. The bottom one. I knew the singer of that band, Lionel Lousy. Oh, and the yeah, Circle One's on this too. But, uh, my this is Lionel Lousy down here. You can't really see it. It's like real. It's all gray. But my buddy Scott, he's right here. He played drums. Let's see if you can get a better picture. He played drums in Moral Decay, and I guess he played uh, drums for Crankshaft on this. This is a really. This is a fucking great. It's got Doctor No, Crankshaft, Rigor Mortis, Flower Leopards, The Grim. Mox Nix, America, America's Hardcore, Ill Repute, and Circle One, and some others, False Confessions. It's on Getaway Records, but that is a, that's, it, it's a Mystic Records. Good, very good comp. Next one, this is definitely my, one of my top punk comps of all time. Let them eat jelly beans. Uh, 17 extracts from America's darker side. I mean, side one, it's Flipper, DOA, Black Flag, Bad Brains, Dead Kennedys, Circle Jerks, Really Red, The Feeders, and The Subhumans. And side two is more of the experimental side of the punk genre back then. It was Giza X, B People, Wounds, The Offs, Anonymous, Half Japanese, Christian Lunch, and Voice Farm. And on the back it's got a homeless guy pushing a shopping cart. That's a really good album. Side one and side two are completely different. That's what one of the reasons it makes it so good. It's another good, uh, this is a good punk comp from uh, Washington DC. This is the first press of this. Teen Idols, State of Alert, Minor Threat, Government Issue, 
Youth Brigade, Iron Cross, on Discord Records. Really good album. Next one is a punk comp from Boston. This is Boston, not LA. This has got Jerry's Kids, the FUs, Gang Green, the Freeze. Good Boston hardcore. Another really great comp. This is definitely in my top ten, maybe my top five. Hell Comes to Your House. Side one has 45 Grave, Christian Death, 100 Flowers, Rhino 39, and the Super Heroines. Side two has Social Distortion, Legal Weapon, Red Cross, Modern Warfare, Secret Hate, and the Conservatives. Yeah. Really cool. And here we go. This is the Super Heroines' first album. Some people are going to say, they're not punk, they're goth. Ah, whatever, fuck off. They're punk. I saw I saw this lineup of the band. This is the first lineup at uh, Al's Bar. And the bass player, this gal here, she was so, she was, she was hot. They were really good. Really good band. She's the one in the middle. She had a lot of charisma up there on stage. And I, I did see him again with a Jill. Man, I can't remember. Jill something. She was the other bass player. And they came out with a white album. That's called the black album and the other one. Anyways, this is Tooth and Nail. This is the early LA punk bands. The Controllers, Flesh Eaters, UXA. Negative Trend, The Germs, and Middle Class. Middle Class is generally considered to release the first uh, hardcore punk single. Even though uh, Black Flag was recorded their, uh, their uh, first single before, it wasn't released until after that one. This is a decline of Western civilization. This is the soundtrack to the movie. There's Darby Crash on the front. This has Black Flag, Germs, Catholic Discipline, X, Circle Jerks, the Alice Bag Band, and Fear. If you haven't seen this movie, you should you should watch it. Even if you're not a punk fan or hardcore fan, I should say. It's a it's an excellent movie. This is Angry Simone's first uh, EP. And uh, they have a one song on here called Get Off the Air. And it's about Rodney Bingenheimer. And after this was released, he never played the Angry Simones again. I don't know. I guess Rodney can't take a joke. This is Rag Rick Agnew. His uh, solo album, All By Myself. He's the guitar player from... Uh, Christian Death, guitar player for uh, Adolescence. He plays all the instruments on this. Really good album. I need to start going through these faster. It's almost nine minutes here. This is uh, JFA's first album, Jody Foster's Army. This one's for the Hogzir Report. It's on Placebo Records. This band here, they, they were really good in concert, man. They uh, combined uh, thrashy punk with uh, surf instrumentals, and it, it was a good combination. Really cool band. Here's another one, Alien Sex Fiend. I bought their first single, Lips Can't Go, just based on the cover. And then uh, this out. This is their first album. Really. People consider this part of the goth, but it, it's all fucking punk to me, man. This is a fucking good record. It's a picture of the band. They're pretty trippy. Necros. 
I believe they're out of Ohio. I should have looked it up. I, I don't really remember. Conquest for Death. This is a really good band, uh, good album too. The, a lot of these albums, yeah, most of them all have inserts and stuff, but I, I'm not going to pull them. This is a band from uh, San Diego. Now this album, this album is way up on my list. This, this band was killer. Their first album was okay. I think it was probably on Mystic Records even, you know. But this is the second coming. This album is excellent. Second Coming, Battalion of Saints. That's a great album. Next one, LA's Wasted Youth, Reagan's In. Um, this album, it's it's okay. It's got some really good songs, some mediocre. But the problem with this album, the the press, it's a noisy ass press. I mean, it, it's. I mean, the, when I first bought it, the first thing you stick it on, you can. It's just like a lot of noise. And that's a famous picture, Ed Clover picture there. Guy doing a stage dive. Electrify me, the plugs. This is an early punk, LA punk band. This band here, Johnny Rotten's first show in LA wasn't with the Sex Pistols. They were supposed to play in LA after the San Francisco show, but they broke up. So their his first show actually in LA was with Public Image and this was the band that played before them. The Plugs, really good, three piece. In fact, the drummer and uh the bass player, they played with Bob Dylan. I there's a clip of them on uh Probably David Letterman or something with a he's playing with those two guys. The drummer and the bass player. And uh Yeah, was they they were really good. This album I think it's kinda hard to find. And I I think maybe their second album is even harder. We're gonna end it on some more uh New York hardcore just for working class wax. This is a later war zone, I think 89 or so. I showed the the other one where they're standing up in a police lineup. If I remember right, I like that one better than this one. But this is a good album. This is another one that he showed. Youth of Today, Break Down the Walls. This is on Wishing Well Records. It's not on Revelation. I believe this is the first press too. I th all all of those re uh, albums, all the records here are first presses, except for this one here. This is Cro-Mags. This is Age of Quarrel. This is the, to me, this is the New York uh, hardcore band that really got it going over there. Their first album is uh, Age of Quarrel. And uh, this is a 10-inch version of it. The first one has a picture of a hydrogen bomb going off or something. And this one has kind of got that image of the bomb, but it's got pictures of negative things going on in our country. Slaughtering the cow. Someone's shooting up. I think there's some what dog fighting up there at the top. But anyways, this is a great album. Crow Mags, highly recommended. This is numbered 877 out of 1500. Anyways, it's my 21 albums. Um, I'll probably, I have this Saturday off, so I'll probably, I'll do my vinyl update, vinyl finds update on that day. But uh, anyways, take care, guys and gals.